We're talking about an important topic. And we're extracting from it lessons which really matter to us, especially, especially to the youth. It is about the purpose of our life and how it all began, the whole reason why we're here. Iblis, the king of the jinns, of the shayateen, of the devils, he's a real existence. The angels, who are made from the light, and they don't disobey Allah in any command he gives them. They've been created to obey him, subhanah. And then the human beings. The human beings who have been created for the same purpose that the jinns were created for. And that is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, earn our place in Jannah, save yourself from hellfire. This is what matters to us. This is what matters to you. You don't find a person sitting back and saying, I'm not going to work, I'm not going to do anything of that because it requires hard work and I don't see the point of it. He says, no, I'm going to get up and I'm going to do the work and do what it takes because if I don't do it, I'm not going to reap in the benefits after. I'm not going to get the money. I'm not going to be able to get married. I'm not going to be able to open a house. I'm not going to be able to buy what I want. So we all look at what benefits us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when He speaks to, to us the story of the debate between Him and and Iblis, and the beginning. And then he tells us that he is our enemy, and his tricks. He talks to us about what benefits us, what benefits you, not what benefits Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Iblis refused to prostrate to, Allah, to Adam, alayhi salam. He was in the ranks of the angels, he was a righteous person before. He lost that righteousness because of his choice. Allah tested him for himself, for, the, for Iblis himself. Not so that Allah can know. And Iblis refused. That was his problem. You will never become a true believer, brothers and sisters, until the main problem in your heart, if you know what it is, between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is resolved. A mu'min resolves their sin. A mu'min doesn't keep their sin. And who can tell me where the sin starts, everyone? Who can tell me where the sin starts in the person? Where does an action come from in yourself? Why do you act upon something? Where does it start from? The mouth? Well, good guess, but the mouth is an action. So you don't say something until what happens? Where is the root of the sin? Your intention? Yes, it is inside. It's something inside your heart, inside your mind. What you have fed over these years, your heart and your mind, that will delegate the type of actions you're going to take, carry out in your life. So we need to monitor what's inside our hearts. What's the problem in there? Is it jealousy? Is it proudiness? Haughtiness? Is it the love of wealth? What is it? For Iblis, it was jealousy which caused him to have proudiness and refuse the command of Allah. So Allah said to him, and we've already mentioned the conversation and the debate, and we've gone into detail with it. We spoke about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَخْرُجْ مِنْهَا فَإِنَّكَ رَجِيمٌ He said to Iblis, get out of this rank which I gave you. The rank was that he had a high position with the angels. He wasn't an angel, he was a jinn. فَخْرُجْ مِنْهَا فَإِنَّكَ رَجِيمٌ You are now an outcast. You are out, I mean thrown out. We don't want people with a disease like yours in here. The disease of Iblis was a cancerous disease. It was one that cannot be cured. Allahu Akbar. Make the comparison. One that cannot be cured, what is it? Jealousy which resulted in proudiness? How bad is jealousy? Allahu Akbar. It can result in an uncurable disease. So a Muslim must avoid that.